Virginia Woolf took her own life on March 28, 1941. For myself, I believe that she made this decision consciously. It is what she needed to do as a human being, and so I do not think of this as sad. I just think that it's the day that Virginia Woolf decided to say goodbye. So we are not celebrating the day. We are simply acknowledging that this is the day. And so if I had a title to call tonight, I would call it Wave. We are waving to Virginia. Something within her refused to grow. Something endless, eternal. Something bold. Something warrior-like. In her, in her long dress and her perfect collar, she looked up at the stars and she could feel as if she felt as if she could pluck them one by one and send them spinning into the world like small, beautiful, elastic, mercurial weapons. Now, too, the time is coming when she will leave school and wear long skirts. I will wear necklaces and a white dress without sleeves at night. There will be parties and brilliant rooms. And one man will single me out. He will tell me things that he has never told anyone. He will tell me things that no one else knows. But Virginia of the Stones was not that girl. And no one told her anything. No one. But she told herself. She told herself through sheets of fool's cap. She watched her hand write word after word that grew and expanded and came in and out like the waves, in and out like the sea. Virginia of the waves, Virginia of the stones, Virginia of the written word, Virginia of the word. Slept and the birds were chirping. We took a train, she wrote. We took a train. We had a mission. 